Hey folks, welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network podcast. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. The big news today, as we all know, major, major names released by the WWE today. Braun Strowman, Aleister Black, Lana, Santana Garrett, Ruby Riot, all released today from the WWE. Buddy Murphy as well, all released today from the WWE. Just... <sighs> I don't know what they're doing, man. I don't know what they're doing. They're releasing these huge names, and it, it's speculating that that the WWE could be up for sale. I mean, they, they were doing all these cuts, these major cuts. They're releasing these big, big names. I know Braun Strowman had a huge contract that he signed in 2019, and um, I guess they want to clear that off the books. But the speculation is that they're getting ready. The WWE is getting ready to sell Vince McMahon is getting ready to sell the WWE uh, to who? I don't know. Uh, they recently moved uh, the WWE Network to Peacock, uh, NBC. Uh, so the speculation is that they're getting ready to sell. Um, but big, big, uh, big release. Braun Strowman is a main eventer. You know, I'm granted, I'm the first to admit I don't really watch the WWE, but but I know Braun Strowman. I know the name Braun Strowman. I know I, I know everybody basically on this list. I'm m- most familiar with Braun Strowman, Alistair Black, Ruby Riot. Um, big na- big names, big names that they've released, and and I can tell you right now, Tony Khan. <laughs> Tony Khan and Scott Demore, they must have a smile from ear to ear right now. I, I think Tony Khan is, he began salivating a few hours ago. I think he's still salivating now. You know, he's probably, um, he's probably got saliva all over the floor in his office. He's just thinking about the, the, the potential of bringing in a, a Braun Strowman or, or an, or an Alistair Black, who is going by Tommy End now is his uh, previous name before he joined the WWE. Um, but I'm sure he's, he's very excited. And, and I'm sure Scott Demore right now is, is uh, considering, uh, Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> maybe we should, maybe we should push Slammiversary back a couple of, uh, a month or two um, to, just in case there's a 90 day non-compete for, for these guys. And, uh, Slammiversary or a world changes again. Let's do another promo video. We'll add Braun Strowman and Tommy End and, and Ruby Riot to, to the video. That's maybe, maybe we should do that. Or Bound for Glory, it's like uh, our world changes again, part two, or something like that. But he's, he must be getting uh, excited. But uh, big stuff. I mean, I mean, they recently released uh, Samoa Joe, the Iconics. Uh, Chelsea Green, Kalisto, um, Wesley Blake, Bo Dallas. So they released uh, a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of talents. Um, well, the last group, uh, Smojo, was the biggest name uh, with the Iconics, and this one, Braun Strowman. You know, I'm surprised. I'm surprised they didn't just release Seth Rollins. <laughs> like, like, what's next? They're gonna announce that Roman Reigns, uh, the Roman Reigns is released. Yeah, that that'll be the next news. <laughs> That'll be the news out tomorrow. Roman Reigns and, and Seth Rollins um, have been released uh, from their contract. <laughs> they were released by the WWE. But uh, but um, no, I'm just kidding on that. But uh, that's big stuff. So you got to think where, where are these guys going to end up? You know, and and is there a 90 day non compete? Is there a 90 day non compete? And I don't know. I if the WWE, if you know, they're releasing these wrestlers, if if. You know, if they have any compassion at all, you know, again, anyone losing their job and getting released out of a contract and then not earning a paycheck anymore, you know, there's nothing funny about that. There's nothing good about that. I've been there. I've lost the jobs before and I've gone months without getting paid and it's, it's, it's not fun. Uh, so anyone losing their job, it's, it's, it's not fun, but that's why they should, WWE should have some compassion. If they're looking to make some, some budget cuts uh, as they're, as they're doing here, that's, the excuse that uh, Tommy End was given, uh, or that's that excuse. That's the reasoning Tommy End was given uh, for um, for the releases is, is budget cuts. Then they should just waive the ninety day non compete. They should just waive that ninety day non compete and let them sign with whoever they want to sign with and uh, start earning a paycheck again. Because uh, Braun Strowman, I, like like I said, Tony Khan, like I said, Tony Khan must be going nuts when he heard the news. He must have did like a he was. He must have started. He must have started like cartwheeling around his office, you know, like woohoo, go woohoo, yeah, woohoo, you know, because he's. I'm sure he's thinking Braun Strowman and Tommy End, uh, without a doubt. I'm sure he's thinking Braun Strowman and Tommy End without. I think Tommy End would be 
would be perfect. You know, and I know he worked in uh, in Big Japan, but I think it would be perfect in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's a perfect character, you know, and and I think he would be great in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, again, he 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 worked in Big Japan in the past. Um, I think he I think he's a, he would be a perfect fit for New Japan Pro Wrestling, especially in the U.S. because they're trying to um, expand their their presence in the U.S. They have New Japan Pro Wrestling strong, and the pandemic is uh, coming to an end. I'm sure we're going to start seeing fans again for New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong. And they'll start touring in the States again. Um, Tommy End would be a perfect fit. I just think John Moxley defending the, NW, the New Japan Pro Wrestling, the IWGP US Championship against uh, Tommy End, that would be an absolutely tremendous matchup. If That would be, that would be crazy. That would be insane, actually. Moxley against Tommy End for the IWGP US uh, Heavyweight Championship. That would be terrific, just just terrific, and um, but I'm sure, uh, like I said, I'm sure Tony Khan, uh, once he stops cartwheeling <laughs> around his office and salivating uncontroll <laughs> uncontrollably, I'm sure he'll uh, he'll start getting some contracts uh, worked up because I'm sure he's going to want to bring in Braun Strowman uh, again. Alistair Black, oh, I'm sorry, Tommy Ends would be. Um, I'm sure he's thinking, but um, Ruby Riot also. Ruby Riot's another talented wrestler. I think she would be perfect. In Impact Wrestling, I think she would be a she would be perfect in the Knockouts Division. She'd be a perfect opponent for Diona Perazzo. Uh, she would be great in the Knockouts Division, or even Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor looking to expand their women's division. Ruby Riot, I think, would be great there. I think Buddy Murphy actually uh, Impact Wrestling should make a play for Buddy Murphy because I, I don't think Impact Wrestling really has a chance at either Braun Strowman or Tommy Ends. I think Tommy Ends. Um, like I said, we'll end up either in AEW or I would love to see him in New Japan Pro Wrestling. I think he'll, he'll be perfect there. But I think Impact Wrestling should definitely make a play for Buddy Murphy. They should definitely make a play for Buddy Murphy. I think Buddy Murphy, uh, I've seen a few of his matches and I've heard a lot of good things about him as well. Uh, I think uh, he could uh, he could be a top guy in Impact Wrestling. So they definitely should look at Buddy Murphy. Lana, we all know Lana. You know, I'm sure she's got plans on reuniting with Miro and AEW. So as his manager, so I, I expect Lana, uh, whatever name she's going to be using, uh, to uh, to appear in AEW, um, to sign with AEW and um, reunite with Miro. And then there's Santana Garrett. You know, people, people. I've seen people on. Um, I read on social media people like, oh, Santana Garrett. Who cares? Does anybody care about Santana Garrett? Santana Garrett. Uh, before she got to the WWE, uh, I know she had a few matches in Impact Wrestling. Wrestling, and, I, and I, I've seen her on the independent scene. She's very, very talented, very, very talented wrestler. I, I remember when she was with, uh, had a few matches with Impact Wrestling. I really wanted them to sign Santana Garrett. I thought she was very, very good. She's very, very talented. I would love to see Impact Wrestling now come in and say, "Okay, you didn't get the, you didn't get a fair shake in the WWE. Let's bring you into the Knockouts Division." Let's bring and also Ring of Honor, like I said, they're looking to expand their women's division. Santana Garrett would be a, a good fit there, but I I would like to see her. I would love to see her in Impact Wrestling. Uh, I think she'd be great. And um, yeah, I mean, it's nuts, man, nuts that these. And and what's next? I mean, what's next? I know there's rumors. I, I was reading rumors. I I don't want to. I don't really really want to talk about it. But just they're just speculation. But um, I was reading that uh, Liv Morgan and Keith Lee might be next. Uh, again, I don't, that's just, just speculation, people on the internet, uh, but we haven't seen, I wouldn't be surprised if they released Keith, uh, Keith Lee, we haven't seen him, um, he hasn't been wrestling um, for some time, apparently, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets released, uh, but I think there are more releases coming, I don't think this is the end of it, I think there's more releases coming, and again, it makes you, um, it makes you go back to, to think, is the WWE for sale? Here's an article here that I read, uh, just was released like two hours ago. Uh, it says the question about the WWE for sale is not, or not, is an old rumor that the newest state of releases have brought up. It's nothing new that, that uh, it's nothing new as these things always get the, the rumor mill started a few months ago. Jim Cornette covered this on his podcast. Um, but now this is, this could be. But but the, but these recent releases have really shaken a lot of people up. 
especially when considering Braun Strowman is, is a main eventer, rebuilt his character, was, was beginning a feud with Big E and so on. And the, prof the world of professional wrestling is once again wide open for rampant speculation. Uh, there could be other companies thrown into the mix like they were years ago. Uh, Dutch Mantel shared on Twitter. Um, he um, was speculating that uh, it could be WWE could sell to ESPN or to or to Fox. Uh, there's rumors that um, maybe Disney might be involved. So there are there are there are, the speculations are now uh, running rampant again that um, all these releases uh, and not just uh, not just the um, the wrestlers. I mean, there's there's a lot of behind the scenes releases as well. If you've been um, keeping up to date. Uh, with all these releases, there's a lot of uh, you know, the speculation that the WWE for sale is running rampant right now, and you gotta wonder: is the W is Vince McMahon has he he's like in his seventies right now? I think is enough's enough. I think it's that maybe time for him to step down and uh, think about retiring. <laughs> maybe uh, he's looking to sell, and um, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if, if, um, if the WWE is sold within the next six months. But then again, this is just speculation. Uh, but it's it's odd. I, I don't. I don't. I can't remember the last time the WWE made so many releases in in so short a time. You know, both in the ring and and behind the scenes. So it's, it's the this this the WWE for sale speculations. I think um, the rumors um, are warranted right now, and I think it's uh, warranted that people speak about it and speculate about it. And uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But um, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if this is not the end. If there are a few more releases on the way, either later today or tomorrow, uh, I'm going to definitely keep my eyes on it. And if anything else happens, of course, I'll jump right back on here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network, and I will be reporting on it. And if the WWE should sell within the next uh, few hours, I'll <laughs> I'll report on that too. So on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network podcast. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.